okay guys we are almost there now let's look at our row widget okay so now let let me clearly remove everything from the uh, body and i will keep this comma at the end whenever you add a new uh, property or a new uh, element you need to add this comma if i do not add it it will not take this property which is next so always add a comma okay and now let me add a row row does not have a property of child it has children and row can help you uh, add different containers uh, horizontally let's see what that actually means okay so within a row you can add multiple widgets you can add many widgets okay so let me write a container and i can write different containers but make sure as i already told you you always need to add a comma after you mention a widget or mention a property right so let's add three containers here container and container okay container now see i did not add a comma before this that is why i'm getting an error and now it's a good practice to add comma every single time even if you do not have a widget after that so now i added three containers and i will give them some color so let me give a color of colors uh colors dot let's say amber i will give one up amber color other one i will give uh let's quickly mention these three and another here i will give it a color of let's give it black and here let's give it red okay now let me save it and you can see that nothing appears bummer <laughs> i know even though we gave it colors different colors nothing came because we haven't defined size and height for a container so let's quickly do that height and i will give it a height of 100 and a width of also 100 okay i want to make squares so i will just copy these two lines and i will enter them in every container each and every container okay so let me save them and now you can see that the three containers are now horizontally aligned there is another property for rows which is main axis alignment uh, which takes main axis alignment and you can here see that it has center end space around space between space evenly and start so let's see what center is okay let's see the center and center basically gets your three widgets whatever is within that row gets it to center okay now there is also end for end it will take all these three widgets to the end of the screen now for start for start it will take when the screen starts okay now there is space between and with space between it will add spaces within all the widgets that are inside your row here we have one container two and three three containers okay so there are uh, different properties as well and you can explore them on your own now let's quickly see what columns are in the next video